hi this is Richard Quack here welcome to another session of my video in today's session I would like to talk about personal development and the topic is it is in your moment of decision that your destiny is shaped I'm sure many of you have heard about this quote all right in fact it was made popular by Anthony Robbins all right so I believe that you know it is in your moment of decision that your destiny is shaped all right now do you believe that everything is shaped by your decision all right everything is shaped by your decision you are here because of your past decision all right nobody is to be blamed you are to be blamed because it is your decision your past decision bring you to where you are today but i have got good news for you everything can change in an instant all right you can change and how do you change is very simple you got to make a better decision that's it all right so in order to change you can make better decision all right but the sad truth is that a lot of people fear to make decision all right they fear to make decision now do you realize that we have been given the greatest gift of all what is the greatest gift our greatest gift is the gift of choice we can choose what to believe in we can choose what to do we can choose what to think and so on nobody can stop us from our decision or from our choice all right so that is the greatest gift of all so if you want to change your life then you got to exercise your greatest gift of choice all right now the sad truth is that a lot of people do not make decision that includes you my friend you know why a lot of people do not like to make decision because they fear that they are going to make a wrong decision so when they are so fearful of making a wrong decision all right they do not make decision at all because when they don't make the decision they cannot blame themselves for that decision that they make if it doesn't turn out to be the way they want it so that is the reason why when people don't make decision they are not in control of their life and they start complaining they just they start justifying they start you know uh, uh complaining about other people and so on so that's the truth is that you got to learn how to make a decision all right if you want to be successful you want to change your life you got to learn how to exercise your greater gift okay now how many of you have heard have heard of dale carnegie i'm sure many of you have heard of dale carnegie he was the author of the book how to win friends and influence people if you have not heard the, of if you not write the book i will suggest that you can get the book how to win friends and influence people by dale carnegie all right in the book he quoted this this is a very very important i want you to make a note of this as well because this is so important in the book he said that you know successful people make decision very very fast and they stick to the decision once they make the decision that is the definition of a successful a successful person but you know a people a person who fail keep on failing they are slow in order to make decision they think and think and think and think and it takes them a long long time to make a decision but the thing is that once they make a decision they change it very fast so that is the definition of an unsuccessful person so if you want to be successful what the carnegie say is that you know learn how to make decision fast and once you make a decision stick to the decision don't change all right not like unsuccessful people they think and think and think and think you know until the cows come home and once they make a decision immediately they change the decision by tomorrow or even by today they change the decision because they influence they easily influenced by other people and environment and so on okay so the truth is that you know uh, you got to be able to make decision fast all right now everything happens for a reason do you believe that everything in life happens for a reason and it is always for your own good even though during that time you might think that it is so discouraging it is so sad why did this happen to me but do you realize that it happens for a good reason to bring you forward to where you are all right now the thing is that i want to share with you a little bit of my story that uh, uh, everything happens for a reason uh, some of you may have heard that you know uh, many years ago i was in debt I owe more than a million ringgit. Why? Because of heavy losses in the stock market. All right. 
Oh, more than a million ringgit. And you know what? I was really, really fearful. I was really, really stressed up during that time. More than a million ringgit is a lot of money, right? All right, it's a lot of money. So what happened is that during that time, I told myself, why did this happen to me? Why did this happen to me? That, you know, it can happen to anybody in this world. What did it happen to me? Why must it happen to me? But today, when I look back at it, you know, I have to thank the universe that, you know, it happened to me. Because why? With that bad experience, it brings me to where I am today. All right. So basically, a bad experience will bring you forward to where you're going to hit towards success, my friend. So that is what happened to me. All right. So because of that bad experience, although during that time, I thought that it was very bad. But today, I looked back at it. I said, wow, it has to happen to bring me, to teach me, you know, to, to make me a better person to be where I am today. All right. Now, another story, everything happened for a reason is this. Many, many years ago, I was involved in network marketing, right? I joined network marketing many, many years ago with a big company, all right, with a US-based company. It was a big company. It was a, a very successful company. And uh, because of certain reason, which I don't explain to you now, you know, I got into trouble with the company and then they said, you know, uh, they, they asked me to write a letter to show cause why I did this, I, I did that. And at the end of the day, you know what happened was that I decided to uh, uh, let go of the company. I decided to let go of the company. During that time, I thought to myself, you know, I'm so unfortunate. I worked so hard in that company. You know, at, at the end of the day, this is what happened to me. What would most people do? They would condemn the network marketing industry and say it's a scam, it doesn't work for me and so on, right? But to me, I understand that, you know, it is something that happened and it has to bring me to where I want to go, okay? So because of that incident, you know, I was open-minded, you know, and I was still, you know, a true believer in network marketing. And you know what? When the time came, you know, a new company came to me, and I got involved with the company and that is now history. I've been with this company for the past 16, 17 years now. And you know what? We did many, many times better than the previous company. You see, everything happens for a reason. During that time, I was so discouraged and so on. But then, I never, never give up on network marketing. All right. So the thing is that, you know, everything happens for a reason, my friend, and it is always for your good. Today, you might be facing some challenges and so on, you know, in your life, but believe me, it has to happen to bring you to where you want to go in the future. Okay, now the other thing I'll talk about is defining moment in your life. There must be a defining moment that can change your life totally. Okay, now, how many of you have heard of Tony Robbins? I'm sure most of you have heard Tony Robbins, right? Tony Robbins was just a janitor, all right, janitor, cleaning toilet. That's all. That's what he was. But then one day, a defining moment happened to him. He told himself, enough is enough. I'm not going to live this life any longer. I'm going to totally change and overhaul my life. And you know what? He took massive action. He took massive action. And because of that defining moment, everything changed. And today, he's a very, very successful business person. All right, so... Anthony Robbins, Robin, also have a defining moment in your life. All right, like myself as well, I had a defining moment. All right, because of my uh, problem in in, uh, in uh, financial, financial and so on, you know, I decided to make a move from my hometown in Kuala Terengganu to move to Selangor. All right, and I make that committed decision to move because I said enough is enough. I've been there for so many years, you know, nothing can happen anymore. So I make a decision, say, I'm going to move. Even though I don't have a job, I don't have a business, I don't have any income, I have a debt of more than a million ringgit. A more than a million ringgit. So I make a move. And that was the defining moment in my life. And because of that one single decision, everything changed. And you know what? I make that decision within one single week. That's all. Within one single week, I move from uh, Trunganu to Selangor. So defining moment is when you make a decision once and for all, a defining moment and no turning back. All right. So that is what a defining moment is. Everybody can have their own defining moment. It is only a matter of decision. All right. Now, 
when you make a decision, right? All right, decision is of no use whatsoever. You got to take action. All right, decision that you take, you got to take action, and I mean massive action, right? It's not just playing with it. All right, let me try whether it happen. No, once you make a committed decision, once I make a committed decision to move from Trengganu, I didn't wait there for two years, three years. Within a week, I moved. That's it. All right, so that is taking action. So once you make a decision, you got to take action and massive action. And what happened? You got to follow through as well because most of the decision you make may not be according to your outcome that you want. So you got to be persistent as well. You got to be persistent. All right, you got to be persistent because the moment I move from slang, uh, from uh, Kuala Terengganu to Selangor, off, things don't happen overnight. I was still broke. You know, I got to uh, a big do without income coming in from uh, my business, and I got to. Uh, repay my debts and so, so basically it was tough but then you have to be strong my friend once you make a decision you got to stick to it and move on that's it okay now change happen in an instant I always say change can happen in an instant it is the decision to change that takes a long 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 time all right change can happen in an instant all right and some of you know you know I wanted to author a book for many years of my life since I was studying in the UK. All right, I wanted to author a book, but I never did so. But when I came back to Malaysia, all right, I met a young man who authored a book. I was inspired, and because of that, I authored my book. After meeting the young man, within three months, I authored my first book. All right, and today I have authored more than ten books. And because of what, I make a decision. That's it. I said. I'm going to make it happen. You see, decision is very, very powerful, especially committed decision where you don't turn back. All right. Now, remember, everything happens for a reason. All right. Now, in Malaysia today, we have this uh, MCO, all right, movement control, all right, and throughout the whole world because of the issue with the virus and so on, a lot of people are having problem. But you realize that I believe truly that. Everything happens for a reason. All right, everything happens for a reason, and the reason is always for your good. All right, so you got to persist and don't sit around doing nothing as well. Start thinking, what can I do to improve my situation? All right, so everything can happen for the better. Okay, now I believe so. It is in your moment of decision that your destiny is shaped. So I advise you today. Start making a decision. Make it a defining moment in your life. All right. So make today your defining moment because when you make a committed decision, a defining moment in your life, enough is enough. Things will start to change, my friend. But of course, you got to take action as well. All right. So everything happens for a reason, and it is in your moment of decision that your destiny is shaped, my friend. Okay. So it is your decision that can change. Your the the trajectory of your life, your future, and so on. Okay, so I hope that you learned something from today's uh, uh, video. If you like what you hear and see, please feel free to like, to share, and to comment. Don't forget, Facebook social media is all about engagement. All right, I thank you for your time that you spend with me here. Let me uh, give you a quick summary of what we talk about uh, this evening. It is in your moment of decision that your destiny is shaped. All right, everything is shaped by your decision. So you are where you are today because of your past decision. The good news is that if you don't like your result, you can always make a better decision and change your future. Okay. Now, remember this is so important, right? Successful people make decision very fast and stick to their decision. People who are failure takes their time to make a decision. They think and think and think, and once they make a decision. They change the decision very, very fast. Okay, now everything always happens for a reason, and it is always for your own good. Okay, now decision made, you got to take massive action, and after that, you got to follow through and be persistent as well because it takes time. All right, uh, I mean that is the law of incubation, right? It takes time. So basically, uh, that is all I'm share with you. I hope that you really learn something. I thank you for your time that you spend with me here, and. I will see you tomorrow again with another session, uh, which I'm going to talk about internet marketing tomorrow. All right. So this is Richard Quack here from Malaysia, wishing you good night and goodbye.